guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Renee and today we are doing something new well new for me still not feeling the best so if I seem a little drained and sleepy it's because I have had a lot of Benadryl. My allergies and sinuses are just going a little crazy. So, but I asked you guys questions on my Instagram the other day, which is Seattle MUA Renee. If you don't know, you know now, and you should definitely follow me on there mainly because I post really cool shit or at least in my head I think I do um and also I mentioned this in my last video but I had a huge giveaway that just ended like a week ago but I mentioned that I was going to be partnering with a brand that I love to give you guys something and so we are hosting a giveaway that's going to go up tomorrow on my Instagram as well as Sunny Cosmetics Instagram so I'll link them both below by the way I is <laughs> might be the first time I've ever said this in a video, but I do have a discount code with them. It is an affiliate code, so I'll leave that below too. If you guys want to use it, you're more than welcome to, but I am not going to be one of those YouTubers that's always jamming discount codes down your throat. Just not my thing. So, uh, this is actually the item that will be in the giveaway. I, it's loud. Uh, it's really loud because all the lip glosses. So, I have filled this one up just so you guys could see and so that I could see because it was my first time test driving this new lip gloss or liquid lipstick holder. So Sunny Cosmetics, which I have a, um, I'll link up below, but I have a tour of my entire beauty room and they make custom drawer organizers for the Alex drawers. But when Sunny messaged me and asked me if I wanted to join in on a giveaway with them, I of course said yes. And we decided that this would be a good thing because not everyone has Alex drawers. But what I love about this is you can just display it like this on the top of your vanity or on a desk or whatever you use. And you know lip glosses so I have found that the Huda ones are too long for contraptments like this which by the way those I got off Amazon they're sets of three and they're stacked um so those don't fit in there and then the buxom glosses are just you know they're they're thick so they also don't fit in actually anything that I have. So I was thrilled that these fit in there. I have some of the Marc Jacobs glosses in there. I just wanted to just try a bunch of things that haven't worked in the spaces, in the organizational pieces that I own. So. I was really excited when Buxom just slid right in there. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. And um, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Sunny Cosmetics on Instagram. The giveaway will be going up tomorrow, Tuesday, probably late afternoon, somewhere around there. So, um, yeah, but today, today what we're going to do 
is a Q&A. So the other day, I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me any questions that you have, and I would come on here and answer them. So here I am, and I am obviously going to have to be looking at my phone to read the questions. I didn't necessarily ask you guys if you wanted me to either try to pronounce your Instagram handle or your name, but uh, so I, I don't know how I'm, I haven't ever done this, so you're just going to have to bear with me. We're going to get through it together. But I thought it would be kind of a fun new thing. So far, what I've stuck to on my channel so far is giveaways. Um, I do them every month, so I mean, it's in your best interest to support me because I, I love to support and give back to the people that support me. And it's just that simple. So, with all that being said, and this video is going to be already probably pretty long because there's 50 questions, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to all of them, and I also am not sure, and I mentioned a little disclaimer, that I may not feel comfortable answering a question. The ones that I saw weren't too incredibly personal. I haven't seen anything so far when I was looking that I wouldn't want to answer. Um, I'm usually pretty open. I have no problem sharing things. However, I do have to draw a slight little line in the sand and just, you know, like I'm not going to give you guys my address. There's I'm not going to give you my social security number. Just basic things like that. But as far as me, where I come from, stuff like that, social media questions, that's just absolutely fine. And so let's get into reading some of these questions and hopefully I can answer them for you. One more thing about Sunny Cosmetics. This one is for me and Sunny Cosmetics will be sending the winner their brand new one um and it will be an international giveaway so just throwing that out there let's get to these questions and also in the effort of not trying to have this be an hour long there are 50 questions which thank you guys so much for a, participating, and B, just your general interest in, I guess, wanting to get to know me or some advice or whatever it is. I've only read a couple of the questions, so this is going to be just as surprising for you as it is for me. I didn't answer anybody's questions on Instagram. I stated that I was going to save it and answer them now, so... Without further ado, let's get to answering some questions about me. So, makeup shenanigans, who I love, by the way, hey girl, hey, she would like to know which dog is my favorite. So, for those of you who don't know, I have two Shih Tzus. Romeo is about, he's seven now, and Chloe is about a year and a half. So, I initially responded and told her that, um, I just laughed, and then she said, answer the question, don't be a lame-o. Mom, who says, I don't have a favorite. So, I told her that I'd answer now. So, now on to the awkward question, how do I put this? I mean, they're downstairs, they can't hear me, but I'm going to have to go with Romeo and 
that is primarily because I've had him for a long time. He's been with me through a lot of shit. And he has helped me and comforted me and been there for me at times when either I didn't want anybody around or there wasn't really anybody around. So my dad passed in October of 2012 and technically my dad, although he didn't know it, he uh, got Romeo for me and so Romeo was a puppy and he was born in April and when he was about six months old I brought him to hospice. I got clearance to bring him in and, at and uh, so if any of you guys like do YouTube I have I film on a Sony A5100 and I know I got a powerful memory card that has 256 gigabytes which is the same amount as my phone. My phone has a lot of crap on there but yet this memory card is only keeping like 15 minutes and then I can send it to my phone. So I don't get it. So if anybody knows and can help, I would really appreciate it. Anyways, back to Romeo. So Romeo was about six months old. I brought him to my dad and he immediately jumped up on the bed and laid by him for hours. And he's always had this this sense i actually want to have him be a comfort dog and take him retirement homes that's a tough one but i'm thinking like you know children like sick children children's hospital or something like that he just has this sense about him where it doesn't matter who it is, if he senses that someone is upset or has something going on, he is just there. And Chloe, I love her to death, but she is kind of the opposite of Romeo. He is the calm, collected, chill, and she's the crazy, loud, destroyed the house, if I left her alone, just, just crazy, but I love her, and I love them both, and it's fun and free entertainment watching them play and do all the crazy stuff that they do, it just warms my heart. So anyways, there's my answer for that. Who are some of your personal makeup pro heroes? Gosh, that's a hard one. So, uh, my favorite YouTuber is Samantha Ravendahl. I hope I'm saying her last name correctly. But, you know, I'm sure you guys know Samantha has like five S's at the beginning. And I just, I appreciate her and I find her to be, have kind of the same attitude that I do and just kind of the same, the way she talks and the way she interacts and the way she thinks, I just find myself relating the most to her. I struggle watching and I'm not even going to get into names or anything like that, but I'm just going to say that I struggle watching YouTubers that 
are really just hyperactive and in your face and it almost feels fake to me but that could be my view on it and that's my opinion and it doesn't mean that they are it's just what I sense and so I'm gonna go with Samantha and also uh, Victor who I don't know he might have a YouTube but he is a Mac senior artist and I had the pleasure of getting to know him a little bit. I went to a master class um, for Mac at Bellevue Nordstrom about a month or two ago. So I met him and apparently my loud opinionated self, <laughs> he uh, remembered me. We'll just put it that way. And um, We've had some really nice conversations on Instagram and in DM, so I just adore him to pieces. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to go with those for for now, but I, I just, I struggle with YouTube and I struggle with YouTubers that are always just on here pushing codes and stuff like that. Okay, this sucks. I really need help. The memory card just cut out again. I changed the formatting, so please, memory card, Sony, please, just let me answer a few questions. So where was I? So Makeup Pros, got that. Have you ever considered doing studio TV movie work? Um, I haven't really ever thought about it. I have a project in the works that's been in the works for a while. And I have been working on getting my website up and running and have been focusing on making YouTube videos, which I am being consistent as fuck. Well, I've had some moments, but I feel like I'm doing, like, more consistent this year than ever, I, especially in the last few months. I've really, really tried to dedicate more of my time to you guys and because you guys have been wanting me on here for a while and honestly I wish I would have started YouTube way before now but there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. I'm here now and I ain't going anywhere so yep. Uh, Selena Pink Makeup Addict, her question is, I love this babe, happy Friday gorgeous. Thank you, Selena, for that question. I am going to say happy uh, Monday because I posted this on Friday. Happy Monday, Selena. I, I hope you had a great weekend. Rose Gold Goals, um, gorgeous. Thanks, V. Love you. Michelle Avery MUA. She and I agreed with her. She should have been my personal interviewer. She has a lot of questions and I want to try to answer them because I feel like, and she said this as well, that her, her questions are more on a business and social media level and more advice on how I got started and trying to help any of you and I am the type of person that you know I see I see Instagrammers for example I'm just gonna be broad here and and say that I see beauty gurus putting up a makeup look 
but yet not even detailing out what products they used and not even answering questions when people ask like, hey, what lipstick is that? And for me, I don't really understand the points. If you're going to spend the time to do your makeup and put yourself out there, why not let people know what's on your face? I don't know. It just seems so logical to me, but then I see it a lot. And um, for any of you guys that follow me on Instagram, which by the way, thank you. I love you. You know that I try my absolute best to respond to you guys, especially if you have a question about a product or want my advice or opinion, you can always DM me if I miss a comment, which sometimes it happens, but, and I don't do it to get a better engagement rating or anything like that. I do it because I genuinely am a helper. I love to help other people and viewer, what advice can you give for those of us that are trying to build our brand? Have you, do you ever have the opportunity to do sponsored posts? What did you do? How were your first recognized to receive your first PR package? How long have you been on Instagram? Okay, so I'm going to kind of answer all those together at once. And I have been on Instagram about five years now. And, you know, that was when things were not as complicated before the algorithm hit. Um, I have noticed that my page has really suffered from the algorithm, and while I still have 150,000 followers, you know, it's like this thing where I feel like I can't really complain about it because other people are like, oh, but you have 150,000. I'm like, yeah, but if your content isn't being shown and you're losing more than you're gaining and you've never bought in followers or used bots or anything like that, it's a bit frustrating because you work your ass off. You put your heart and your soul and your passion into something and for it not to be seen is a little frustrating but to go back to the actual question so i've been on instagram about five years i think the algorithm hit it sounds like a hurricane like but it, it kind of is i i don't i don't understand the philosophy behind it. The algorithm started officially in 2017. So I was lucky in the sense of starting when I did. However, um, <laughs> so when I started, I was taking pictures of just the few pieces of makeup that I owned on like a piece of white like cardboard like a like poster board that you get for like to make a school project <laughs> and I was posting that I was not aware that people used hashtags. I didn't know that people edited pictures. I had my iPhone, I think I had the 5S at that point in time. So, and I had really, really, really bad brows. But it took me, I believe, about a year to get 
from, you know, just the hundred followers that I had to 10,000. And then once I hit 10,000, it was progressing a little faster. I can say that Benefit Cosmetics, who I still work with and love so much, they are just amazing to work with. They were the first like big brand to email me and I believe I had somewhere around 25, 30,000 when they emailed me and it was just, I remember the subject, like I'll never forget, Benefit Loves Renee. And they said that they had seen my page and they wanted to know if I would like to receive product. I mean, yeah. So that started that and I'm still working with them to this day and absolutely love them. So that answers that question. As far as sponsored posts go, you know, that's, that's hard for me too. And I don't want to knock anyone's hustle or anything like that. We all have our own views and our own way of doing things. But for me personally, I actually haven't done very many sponsored posts. And the prime, primary reason for that is I don't feel comfortable promoting. Oh, Renee, take seven. Seriously getting so frustrated. <laughs> you guys have no idea. It's letting me record for like six minutes and then shutting off. So I had to look where I was last and I was telling you guys how I personally don't feel comfortable promoting something that I don't actually love and use myself. I just don't feel morally comfortable doing that. Um, you know, that's me. However you want to do it is what you're going to do. But, you know, I'm just going to be broad and throw out a name of a brand that has, um, offered to pay me money to promote them, um, Skinny Teeth, and, you know, no offense to anyone that works with them, no offense to the brand, and I am a diehard coffee lover. I don't even like tea. So, for me, personally, I just would feel uncomfortable promoting something that I don't actually like. So that's just my view and my opinion on it. I think the best way to, for anyone as far as getting into social media, I mean, I'm just kind of starting out on YouTube really, so I don't feel like I can give that great of advice because I don't even know how to work a fucking memory card, apparently. <laughs> but, um, social media in general and building a brand, building a following, building a reputation, as long as you're putting up content that you're happy with and that you love doing, you can't really go wrong. So, for me, I find makeup to be almost therapeutic and I just love talking about makeup and I feel like there just is unlimited learning. I learn something new every day. I've worked for Nordstrom 
I've worked for Boeing and <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but I actually work harder and more and like what I'm doing and that's probably why I work harder and work more than I did at Boeing. And that's because I have a passion for it. I don't have a passion for airplane parts. They just don't, it's just, they don't really do anything for me. I mean, I appreciate them when I get in a plane, but I, I just didn't find fulfillment in that job. So, you know, I think, I think the best way to go about building a brand is to not necessarily focus on having it be building a brand, but more just putting up content that you love, talking to people, meeting people, putting yourself out there, send emails to brands, you know, they might deny you. I've been denied many, many, many times, but just keep at it. And if you love it and if you love doing it, I feel like if you're genuine about it, it'll pay off in the end. I can sense fake. I think other people can sense fake pretty well. So if you're just asking for followers, if you're asking for stuff, that's primarily when you're not going to get it. I have mentioned this before, but you know, I, almost daily, I have someone commenting for me to send them my makeup. Not, I'm, I'm not a brand, I don't make makeup, I buy makeup, or sometimes I'm fortunate enough to get sent something, but I don't just have every single shade of foundation and every single shade of lipstick to just send out to whoever asks, and you know, I'm in my 30s. Did I have all this makeup when I was 16? No. No way. I had maybe two MAC lipsticks and foundation. And that was it. And unfortunately, that's what I wore. But, yeah. I, I would just work on putting up content you love, doing what you love, and the rest will eventually fall into place and at least that's that's what I would do. Um, how many years did it take you to become so incredibly talented with being makeup and expert with makeup? And that's from Angela Janice. Hey girl. Um, so I actually don't consider myself an expert. I, you know, that, that term is, I guess it's hard for me to call myself or really anyone an expert at anything. You can be, have a degree in something, but you're still always learning and there is no cap to where it's like, okay, I've learned everything possible, I know everything possible. I mean, if you have that attitude, I think that's kind of a little bit full of yourself. If you think that you can't learn anymore and you know everything, I just don't understand that mentality, I guess. But to answer the question, um, you know, I like I mentioned earlier, I had horrible brows and I did my lip liner really strange. I would line like over in the corners. I'm not quite sure why. So I started off as self-taught and then I got certified online and I've attended 
many master classes at, at this point in time and every day I'm learning, every day I'm researching, every day I'm looking at what I could do differently, what what I can put out to help others because that is what I find most rewarding for me too, hence why I'm here doing this and telling you guys all this shit because I just have that in me. I don't think like I'm just gonna do me and I'm not gonna help anyone else and I'm just gonna focus on myself. I mean there has to be some of that element but you also need to give back and there's no point in having a platform being on here, having a voice, without having an opinion and sharing some tips. I ask people for tips all the time. Like, I need help with my fucking memory card. I also need help with my swearing. <laughs> I don't think anybody can help me with that. <laughs> Bar of soap, maybe? I don't know. Um, my favorite makeup artist influencers, I addressed that earlier. Um, when did you know you wanted to pursue being a makeup artist? So, I mean, I pursued it professionally when I started Instagram, and I strictly posted beauty, and that's what I would recommend to you guys, whether you you're doing beauty or if you are into watches or shoes or teddy bears, stick to one thing and make that your feed. You can throw in, like once in a while, I'll throw in a dog that I own. By the way, not just some like random dog, but you know, I'll throw up a picture of me and Chloe. 